today the topic is distances used in classification we will be studying euclidean distance manhattan distance and chebyshev distance first comes the euclidean distance the euclidean distance is just a straight line between two points in a euclidean space or we can say any two vectors uh, suppose let us consider uh, two vectors a and b each of which has n features then the euclidean distance between them is given by root over of a1 minus b1 whole square plus a2 minus b2 whole square up till a n minus b n whole square here a1 a2 up till a n is the features present in a while b1 b2 up till b n are the features present in b this is the generalized formula from this equation now uh, let us take an example of the euclidean distance where we have taken two points a and b the coordinates of the point a is x1 y1 while the coordinates of the point b is x2 y2 then the Euclidean distance between these two points will be root over of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. It is nothing but a simple distance formula. Next comes the Manhattan distance. Manhattan distance is also known as rectilinear distance, city block distance, taxi cap metric, and so on. Uh, it is actually calculated by the sum of the absolute differences of their features or their coordinates in case of the uh, on the coordinates so let us take an example to understand it if we take two points x1 x x1 y1 and x2 y2 then the manhattan distance between them can be given as absolute value of x1 minus x2 plus absolute value of y1 minus y2 here is an example of manhattan distance let's see how it works let us consider this is rook in a chase game as you all know the rook always travels in straight directions and cannot travel diagonally so if a rook has to go diagonally then it has to cover it in two moves starting from here to here and then here so we can see it covers diagonal distance in two moves while the straight ones are in one move let us make a comparison between the euclidean and the manhattan distance uh, here the red one the blue line and the yellow line denotes the manhattan distance while the uh, green line is denoting the euclidean distance if we consider each of the square taking value as one both of its sides actually then we can say that the length of this red path is one plus one plus one plus one plus like this it will end up to 12 while the blue path let us see what is it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It is also coming to 12. And let us see the yellow part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It is also coming to 12. So we can see no matter how uh, we calculate the Manhattan distance or which path we follow the Manhattan distance is always coming 12 in this case while For the Euclidean distance. It will actually be the hypotenuse of this triangle this triangle Okay, so what it will be uh, this total is 12 So this will be 6 because 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 square plus this is also 6 square and it will, we will take root over Pythagoras theorem so we will get 6 root 2 this is the value of the Euclidean distance I hope you got it now comes another example of Euclidean versus Manhattan distance uh, Suppose there are two points A and B. The Euclidean distance is given by this green line, which is the shortest distance. While the taxi cab metric or the Manhattan distance is nothing but the blue line which we are seeing here. It is actually moving in a 
perpendicular fashion not diagonally next comes the chevichev distance the chevichev distance between two vectors or points p and q with standard coordinates is given by the maximum of the difference between their features between the corresponding features actually it is also known as chevichev distance seen in the game of uh, since in the game of chess the minimum number of moves needed by a king to go from one square on a chess board to another equals the chevichev distance between the centers of the square so i'm just explaining what does this mean it was let us see what is the formula of the chevichev distance chevichev distance is nothing but the maximum value of x1 minus x2 means the absolute value of x1 minus x2 and y1 minus uh, y2 if we have only two features given if we consider it as the king in the chess game the king can move in all directions if had if it has to go diagonally it can move diagonally in one move it if it has to go straight it can go straight in one move if it has again uh, if it has again to move diagonally it can again go in one move and so on so this is a shift shift distance in which diagonal move is also possible uh, other uh, than the straight distances which was in case of manhattan we saw that in manhattan distance only straight moves are possible not a diagonal moves while in chevichev distance the diagonal moves are also possible so the chevichev distance becomes a maximum value among, among these ones and these are the absolute differences between the given features of the vectors so if you have any doubts or questions regarding this topic Please leave it in the comment section. Thank you.